Hello everyone and welcome to Usitility. Today we are going to see how to play Overmortal on PC using the brand new Blue Stacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action. We will be able to easily download and install Overmortal and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Overmortal. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to get started we have to launch our favorite browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to that URL that I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because there's a clickable link in the description of this video and the first pinned comment. We ended up at this point on the website of Usitility, where we have a nice precise demonstration on how to download and install Overmortal on personal computer. We search lower a little bit and click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on this link, we land here on the website of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will launch to get access to this game Overmortal on the PC. As you can discover from here we access a great deal of advantages of preferring using this emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Overmortal by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green color. The step is clicking on the button. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Here it is, here is located the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to launch the installer. Okay, then we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the device. We answered yes. I minimize the web browser to start to see the installation software better. The installation software is pretty simple. It consists of two choices, install and setup path. I will make it clear what setup path does. We purely simply click on it. And then we realize that we end up with here the path in which the emulator will be put in. If we choose to change this folder we have got to click on that browse option and we opt for another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we desire. I am going to set it by default. Then, I click on back. Therefore I just click install. Fantastic. The setup starts and it will move forward along with the download of all these megabytes that happens to be represented on our computer screen. When you save it on your machine, it could possibly be a little more or less MB. The data transfer speed might go faster or slower, depending on your connection and according to the velocity of the emulator hosting servers. Today they're progressing extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance-related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has actually been started on autopilot. As you can discover, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar that will advance to the right when it actually reaches the ending, the emulator will be started for the first time. The fact is that the emulator is already launched, here it is for the first time. Before we keep going, as you understand, it has created two software icons right here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon is going to be the one we're concerned about. Anytime we want to start Overmortal on the laptop or computer, we double-click this particular app icon and as a result launch the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we make the following step, which is a must, and which is to begin browsing the Google Play Store. And we are going to mouse-click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is started. Here we have to log on. So now the moment we're here, we must begin doing this next phase which is absolutely mandatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. Presently it announces, checking info. It might occasionally get stuck in, checking info, and it isn't going to progress. In this case, you should try to log in in after a couple of hours but it will surely almost certainly be sorted out. At this time we can provide our username and password. The email needs to be a Gmail email and its matching password. As an example you can utilize the very same email you're using currently in your own YouTube account. Therefore I will insert my information and I will return as soon as I have completed it. Voila, information typed. Here is Google welcoming us and offering us their twos. We must accept them all by simply clicking, I agree. Following that, it allow us to backup to the Google Cloud. You can also leave it checked it's going to build a backup of the data files on that device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We just click on accept. 
Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started by default and automatically. To set up the app, we would need to go to the emulator desktop for Android by double-clicking on the app icon indicated green-colored. At this point that we are exploring the desktop of this emulator, we see that we come with right here the install game option. We click or double-click on that button. On this page we come with the Android game. So let's click right here on the install link that I'm showing now in green color. This action will launch the software setup. At this moment it will download and install the game. It normally takes quite some time or perhaps it could be almost immediate. It again all is determined on our own web connection. It's actually ended installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking on this specific option that I am highlighting in green, so that you can start Overmortal for the very first time. You are now on the emulator desktop, and we're preparing to just click on the new Overmortal software icon which was generated. Your Android game is launched for the first time on your machine. Now there we get it, I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the volume of the emulator. It's right here. We use the icon of higher volume and the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not count on the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of this emulator. And also to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we will turn on the big screen, for which we have two choices. This one is simply the first one. We mouse click on this icon which I am indeed pointing out in green color. Thus the display screen is maximized, offering one border at the top, one on the right side and the last one at the bottom. Granted that we choose to have fun with the game in full screen, we select this particular icon. And we'd presently be experiencing the game in full screen setting. To get out of the complete screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we might now end up being in normal screen setting. At this point, I am on the way to demonstrate to you the keyboard mapping which is really quite useful. This strategy we definitely will be ready to play the game app more effortlessly. The very first task is to click this app icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to make the necessary configuration settings. I can leave the normal settings, though if you really want to adjust it, you may very well do so with no problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is fully in our own language. Sometimes it happens that your emulator is started in the wrong language, for instance, in Mandarin. And thus to set it up in the appropriate language we go there to the cogwheel. And thus there within other options, we just click on the language, drop down. We could go for the language we wish, Italian, Chinese, and so forth. As soon as the language is decided, we should save, the emulator will restart, along with the game, the next time we launch it, will of course be in the opted for language. Presently, you will find another detail that we must take into consideration, and it's that we will receive a message from Google telling you that a brand new electronic device has been associated with our Google account. It definitely will check with us if we're the people who have connected that electronic device. Indeed, we may not worry, because the emulator is simulating an Android smartphone or tablet. So you can determine which tablet or smartphone is being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel and we click on it. Be sure to browse here to the, model, choice. And here we see that the emulator is behaving like a Samsung cellular phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for the tutorial. I anticipate you enjoyed it, especially that everyone thought it was interesting. If that's so, allow it a good thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, concerns or suggestions, leave them in the comment box below. Just click on any of the training videos that are appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following video game videos. Bye!